Corday House next on City Corner. Hi, I'm Sarah Thompson and welcome to City Corner. Well, motherhood burnout is real and the pandemic only seemed to intensify it. But right here in St. Louis, a mother of four and entrepreneur came up with what might be a solution to helping with that parental burnout. It's a place called Corday House and think of it as a sanctuary, a sanctuary, sanctuary that promotes motherhood, sisterhood, community, and much more. We're going to learn all about it on today's show. I'm joined by the founder of Corday House, Ronke Falati. Thank Hi. you so much for being oh here. Oh my goodness. Thank you for having me. Thank you for creating the space. Thank you, City of St. Louis. <laughs> and thank you for the space that yeah. you have created. I was fascinated about this. I got this yes. email in my inbox you know, earlier yeah. this spring. And it just, as a mother, yeah. everything that I was reading just yeah. rang true. Because as yeah. I said, there's a very real motherhood burnout, parental burnout, but yeah. motherhood burnout. Absolutely. And it was like, you created you not only as a mother, but as a businesswoman I am had this case, idea. Yes. I am my avatar. I am case number one. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about sure. it. So it's Cora Day. It's Cora Day House. Cora Day is a Yoruba word that means to bring goodness. And a Cora Day House is a third space to strengthen familial bonds. So it's around community. It's around restorative care. And I like to say restorative care is beyond like getting your nails done. It's beyond self-care. It includes journaling. It includes community community includes meals and includes just rest, yeah. right? Being intentional about taking a nap yes. or getting the help that you need or asking for help. And so the, the, our, our three tenants to help families grow better is storytelling, community, and restorative care. And all of that is centered around mothers, but it's for, it's really to help our families grow better and in turn help society in general. And you're right about the burnout. I mean, I would love to share more about kind of Yes, you know, sure. We'll share it more. I mean, yeah. I, I, this really speaks to, I think, yes. not just to all mothers, working yeah. mothers, um, even stay-at-home mothers, but yes. that feeling where I think everyone can attest to that time when you are just what they call that sort of like mm -hmm. internal, that, that invisible burden that so many mothers carry and yes. you want a place to go to. I want to go quickly have yes. a start to show what yeah, we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So where do you go from this idea of like, how did this all come together? Yes. This is a physical space. I mean, I should mention this is a place yes. in the Central West End. It, is. it just opened in May. It's a mm -hmm. beautiful home, yes. over nearly 130 years old. Right? Absolutely, yes. It's beautiful. It's so it's this almost, is Corday House. This is Corday House. It's almost 5,000 square feet of space for people to come in and feel like they belong. And so I would be on text chains with other moms who are friends and say, I'm running away. I, <laughs> I'm going to rent an apartment. <laughs> I'm going to go hide. And for me, it really came about because um, there was one day when I felt like I needed to leave this space yes. in order for me to have some sanity. Yes. And I didn't have any place to go. And I ended up calling a girlfriend of mine and I said, hey, can I come by? And she said, sure. It was like 10 o'clock at night. And so I drove to her. And when I got there, we watched some trash TV. <laughs> we both had a glass of wine, uh -huh. cheap wine. Uh -huh. We didn't talk about my problems, but when I came away, I felt better. And then I started asking friends, where do you go? I have three older sisters. Where do y'all go? People tell me they hide in their car, mm -hmm. they stay longer at work, mm -hmm. or they wander the aisles of Target mm -hmm. at night, you know? Mm -hmm. So just to make up a story to get some space, because there's only so much coffee you can buy at a coffee shop. Everywhere else, you have to have a reason to be there. To be there yeah. You have to, you're on, mm -hmm. or people just stay in their cars, mm -hmm. right? Or there are so many articles that talk about why, you know, a lot of fathers are in the bathroom. Yeah. They're also hiding yes. in yes. the bathroom yes. on their phone, right? Yes. And so a lot of us don't have a place to go and to yeah. belong and to have serendipity. Yes. And so third spaces is really a concept that's really coming back yeah. because it doesn't have a specific, um, a specific uh, function, right? Yes. And so if you think about your first space, which is your home, mm -hmm. we know what that is. Yes. It comes with joy. It comes with chaos. <laughs> you know, you know your home. That's yes. that. And then your second space is your work. Yes. It's a purpose space. Mm -hmm. You can't just take 
like, why are you taking a nap at work? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And so you have your second space, which is your work. And third spaces are like churches and parks. But we don't have enough of them anymore. Mm -hmm. And I really felt that how you started, you said a lot of parental burnout, mm -hmm. but the data supports it. Mm -hmm. You know, 66% of parents report being burned out. Mm -hmm. So according to the Pew Research, 70% of Americans, that's Americans, not mm -hmm. mom, not dad. 70% mm -hmm. of Americans report that motherhood is harder today mm -hmm. than it was 20 to 30 years mm -hmm. ago, right? Oh, and yeah. so we <laughs> feel it. Women are not crazy. Mm -hmm. Families are not crazy. We feel it. And mm -hmm. there is, um, I felt it. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the reasons why I left a corporate job that was well uh, compensated, you know, like, <laughs> It's a great title, right? Yes, you know, right. so you have the title, you have the compensation, you have a reason to go, you know, all those things. But I really believe that this is the assignment for me at this yeah. time to help build community, yeah. to help families. I, I no, I, I love it, and I think it speaks to you. I did read that in one of um, mm. the articles yeah. um, about Corday House, about your target, about the kind of wandering the aisles, yeah. and it really resonated with me because I've done You've absolutely done the same thing. It's <laughs> yeah. like just going through the aisles on yeah. some errand, but yeah. it's recentering yourself. It's That's just it. having, even if it's momentary, yeah. a moment as a mom where you're thinking of deadlines and yeah. work, but also your kids. And I don't think we, you know, I think with motherhood, what I, I really appreciate about this is the transparency you sharing this, yeah. because I don't think we sometimes do enough of this maybe with yeah. close friends you text like yeah. hey can I come over yeah. you want to vent yeah. but just actually sharing our experiences that we've all had moments in the car of just like raging overwhelmed. or just yes. feeling overwhelmed yeah, and just because we have such high expectations and right. you've now sort of taken that yeah. that feeling and said hey here's a safe space here's a this, sanctuary yeah, absolutely and I think that's that's the first part of it and I hope we get to some of the services that we hope yes, to provide yes. too but, you know, we have as mothers, so one thing that I say is that as a mother, I get to change the world mm -hmm. in three ways. Mm -hmm. So one, I get to change the world with the work of my hands. Similar to a man, a non-mom, a non-parent, mm -hmm. we all have an opportunity to contribute to the fabric of this world with the work of our hands. So that's just being human. Mm -hmm. Two, I get to change the world with the spark that I nurture in the next generation. We are replacing us. Mm -hmm. And so you have mothers who have incredible burnout and you see the result of it in the next generation. Mm -hmm. You have mothers who um, give so much to their children that mm -hmm. then in their later years they mm -hmm. suffer, right? Mm -hmm. And you see the results of it. But we have an opportunity as mothers to nurture a spark in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then the third way that I could change the world is a big part of why Corey Day House exists. We could inevitably pass on trauma. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And trauma is passed mm -hmm. on, and I know that's an inflated word these mm -hmm. days, but we, as I was telling you before we came here, right, in today's day where we, we, we um, put up high premium on productivity, mm -hmm. we're always on, we're mm -hmm. always doing, uh, we're running around, even the children are running around in multiple mm -hmm. programs, you might be a Uber driver, mm -hmm. essentially, even. Um, when you're always on, you don't really have enough time. And so we, for me, I found that I was parenting in the margins. Mm -hmm. In the morning is high stress. Mm -hmm. And in the evening, it's low willpower. Mm -hmm. And so what I was given, mm -hmm. right, they were getting my leftovers. They were, you know, like, <laughs> yes. and my best self mm -hmm. was somewhere else. Yep. But I didn't also even have a place to replenish. Mm -hmm. And so um, my calculus is that, we can have a space mm -hmm. to replenish because sometimes you don't even want to go to your girlfriend's house because yeah. her house is a mess and she don't want you there, right? Right, right. <laughs> or she doesn't want to clean up. And so you have a place to recharge. You have a place to have events. You have a place to have community. You have a place to connect. You have, like, again, moments of serendipity, yes. which is something that I love. Just talking to, you know, you're there. You just have a conversation spark. Yes. Every day we have a question of the day. Mm -hmm. And our question of the day is there to do just that. He helps you go deep with somebody. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not overwhelming or overbearing, mm -hmm. you know. And that's how we have those 
to go. And building I, blocks. Well, and I should say, like, I, we're, I want to look into yeah. when we come back in the second break yeah. to go through the room by room. Yeah, it's beautiful sure. how you've designed it. It's beautiful. But you mentioned, so access. So, I mean, anyone watching this program, yes. mothers, women can access this by Absolutely. being a member. Absolutely. So, you know, there are multiple ways for you to engage in the community. You can say, hey, I want to be a member. Mm -hmm. And that's one way. Or you can say, you know what? I want to come in and host an event. That's another way. Okay. Or you can say, you know, I'm part of these you know, group of women and we're writers and we want to be able to get together okay. on a periodic basis. So that's somewhere else. Again, it's a third space. And so it's a space that's available to help to build community bonds. We do center mothers, like I said, so we do a little more for mothers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> than we do for everyone else. And, you know, I love the graphics that you're showing. Um, yeah, this is from your website. I know. This is from your website. <laughs> You're like, I love it. You're I like, it's all website. It. This is all from your site. And we showed it earlier too, the yeah. app, because you have an app. Yes. So for members, you yes. download the app and that allows you to basically book your space to come in. space, yeah. So, you know, if we can show the graphic of um, the nap lounge, for example, uh -huh. you know, so that's a space you can come and book. Um, if you want to just chill, and the, we call the, like the, that graphic there is a Lafayette room, a Lafayette means peace. And so it's in the community commons, which oh, is the great. first floor. And so the community commons is a space for a community. You it's, know? You've done, the design is excellent. I want, when we come back for the yeah. second break, we're gonna walk through like, like room by room so Absolutely. that people can understand how it all kind of comes together. For sure. Before we cut to break, I want to show you full screen graphics so you can learn more about Corday House because we're talking all about it. And um, I, this is going to be a chance for you to go to their website to see how it all functions. So we're going to put that up on the screen. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Corday House. And um, as Ron Kay was mentioning, it's a third space to help families grow better through community storytelling and restorative care. You can become a member, um, but learn more about it at CordayHouse.com. Com. And then on the next graphic, we've got all the social handles if you want to follow on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. But uh, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to have more and learn more about Corday House when we return. We'll be right back. What I love about St. Louis is the 79 unique neighborhoods nestled into 108 city parks, including Forest Park, which is actually larger than Central Park in New York, and of course, the beautiful Tower Grove Park where I'm at now. All oh, the St. Louis Blues. We've got the St. Louis Surge, two-time WBCBL champions. We've got Harris Stowe, Wash U, St. Louis University, and of course, the 11-time World Series champion, St. Louis Cardinals. So come experience St. Louis. Hey boss, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? I said I'm fine. Since I was little, it was only like me and my parents. You think you created family out of characters? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's take that and make it into a song.
Hi, I'm Sarah Thompson, and welcome back to City Corner. Today, we're learning more about Corday House in the Central West End. It opened in May, and it's a third space. It's a sanctuary for mothers, for women to get away to, and there's a lot of other services. We're here with the founder. I'm joined today by the founder, Ronke Falate, Falati. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you again for being here. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> I, so I, 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 I was saying when we started this off, yeah. I just like love the idea that you, you're a businesswoman, an mm -hmm. entrepreneur, yes. a mother of four, in a corporate job, yes. pandemic hits, and then you're like, I have this idea. Yes. I want to <laughs> leave all that behind, yeah. open this home. Yes. You said 5,000, 6,000 yeah. square feet, yeah. and yeah. open it up to the public to become members and join in yeah. this space. And it's just, it's such an interesting concept. A, I love a, it. Yeah, it's a big experiment, right? And what I think about is we have things like... Um, um, Ronald McDonald House is for families in crisis. Mm -hmm. And my vision and hope is that Corita House becomes a global and local houses where it's for families to avoid crisis mm -hmm. <laughs> or it's to create those, like I said, familial bonds, to mm -hmm. those community meetings. Every village needs a meetup spot, right? Yes. And so this is a spot that we can actually grow together in community and feel like I belong. Yeah. I belong here. Yeah. You know, when we think about our Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? We, we, need, we have a need of belonging. Yes. You know, there is the UK has a minister or ministry of loneliness. You know, a surgeon general has come out with loneliness as mm. being I, I've read something recently like it's equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Oh sure, yeah. yeah. 57% of yeah. Americans regardless of whether or not they're partnered mm -hmm. are lonely. Mm -hmm. They're eating meals alone. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes, if you like pan out, mm -hmm. right? Loneliness becomes a big sickness in mm -hmm. our society. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the things that we do with our storytelling mm -hmm. and with um, our questions of the day, our popcorn and tea, which we'll talk about, is to help to build a little bit of the bridge a little bit of that yes. gap. And the space is great because right. it's like, again, it's like cheers. Everybody knows your name, yeah. right? That's the idea, <laughs> right? It's a place you can just literally just come to and just hang, hang out. Yeah. And just be and just be well let's uh, we're going to start yeah. walking through looking at some of yes, the photos more. The so pictures. i mean right now you're here in the studio yes. with us today but right now are there like members over there hanging out like well, how does this work like yes you, that's a good question you join you become a member we'll take a look at yes. some of the spaces and you say i'm gonna get away on this day at this time i'm bringing my kids you offer child care you yes. can do your laundry there yes, so i mean yes. this is the foyer so this is the, walk yeah in. so this is where you walk in and we normally have some flowers here i think we have a new plant there and so this is your welcome welcome, welcome area area into the space um and, and so then you've got we've got there's like the kitchen and the dining room we'll kind of go through the photos but basically yeah. when you remember you can so this yeah, is your so house like you're pretty much it's your yeah. home away from home and uh you can let us know you're coming on okay. the app and um and we know you're coming or you can just come to the door as well you can, yeah. you can. and so we have the house staffed pretty much nine to four okay monday through Friday and uh, Child Watch is available from nine to one okay. on Monday through Friday. Child Watch is by request, so it's on demand, but you have to request it you on the app. It, yeah. yeah, and just so we stay within our ratio with our partner. And so this room, it's our conference room, break bread room, dining room, sip and paint room. Uh, <laughs> and what's really great about it is that the tables are modular, and oh, so cool. you can actually have workshops here as well. That's something that we've done yes. in the space. We've also done dinner parties in the space. We've done a podcast. We just did one on Sunday oh, did you? in the space. Yeah, so where we host um so one of the things that we host i'm so excited it's a new thing so you'll be seeing it on the website it's called jeffersonian style dinner parties ah. and so we held one this past sunday essentially we bring eight to ten people together okay. to have a conversation with purpose so our third president thomas jefferson used to have discourse dinners and so uh this is where you come together and you discuss a topic and somebody facilitates it. Uh -huh. And so this last one was around love, lust, and life. But we have mm. different topics. And so we had to get to know, again, community. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. so that's some of where that's held. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really great. So, I mean, there's events going on there. You yeah. can even use it to work if I said I need Absolutely. to. Absolutely. 
be on Zoom yeah. calls or just even a quiet place to work. Absolutely. I can, if, as a member, we have a creative, yeah, we have a creative workspace that our team works in. And, you know, if you need to come up and come work in the space, we have seat in for 12 people in the creative workspace, yeah. you can. And then if you, you know, we keep the kids on the third floor right now. In the future, we do want to explore um, turning the garage into the kids club, oh, cool. like Montessori style kids club. And we're looking at different partners right now. So what's really interesting about you is like everything seems like so together. It's like all your ideas, everything. And I know in reality, that's not how it goes. I mean, did it's you like the swan, right? <laughs> I mean, did you read like peddling? <laughs> I mean, did you sit and research yes, this? Lots, and, like, of, you, lots like, of research. Lots of research. But you know, the, the hard thing. So when I was in corporate America, one thing that I was really good at is creating something that didn't exist before. Wow. That's really good. But I also have like a big back end, right? Yeah. So I have project manager, I have money, I have, you know, all that stuff, right? And the whole team creating something that didn't exist before, even like trying to say, what kind of space is it? Yeah. Like trying to tell Google it's a third space. They're like, what is that? Right? <laughs> we don't have that category. Yeah, Pick another yeah, one. Yeah. And um, so there's a lot of education mm -hmm. that comes with it. Um, there's a lot of imposter syndrome that also comes with it. And so that's that feeling of um, I'm a fraud. Yeah. Like, what am I really doing? But then oh, what's really exciting is that when I see it working, right, when I see, uh, you know, different people from different walks of life just having conversation, yeah. feeling connected, yeah. you know, our tea time is an incredible space. So we have, um, we're going to launch this on social media where we share some anonymous anonymously, but we'll share some stories that's come out of tea time where people come and they feel like they can be unburdened. Just, yeah. They can empty themselves. Yeah. They can talk about like the things that you might say for a confession, confessional. Mm. Those are things that, um, happen yes. at the house and then it works. I'm and like, Oh, this is I, I think, <laughs> no, I mean, yes. it's a really, it's to have this idea yeah. and to make it happen is one huge yes, accomplishment. And then I think to you, I'm point. going to like, so congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to celebrate that success. <laughs> yes. And then I the second God. part, as you part mentioned yeah. is then to have people and then yes. there's getting it off the ground. Yes. Then to have it be so received by the community yeah. and everything you're saying to resonate yeah. with so many other mothers yeah. and women. And then yeah. the third component, which is now building this community yes. where you're promoting when I sort of the sisterhood, if yes. you will, or the safe space, the sanctuary where it's yeah. about well-being, about joy. I think it's great. I want to uh, make sure yeah. we, in, in the time that we have left, uh, two things to talk about. But one, yeah. you, you have a nonprofit and it's called yes. uh, Popcorn, Popcorn and, tea. and Tea. Yeah, it's briefly mentioned that. I've got a graphic for that. that yes. Pulled so Popcorn and Tea is our uh, storytelling arm. Okay. And so this is how we, you know, <laughs> the graphic here. So when I was um, freshly out of college, I got, uh, I was in Tampa and I was working for JP Morgan uh -huh. at the time. And my apartment was the apartment where all the stories happened. <laughs> and we never had food, not because we didn't have money. We just didn't go grocery shopping. And so, um, in my apartment is where all the stories happen, but we always had popcorn and tea. So I would invite people over to have popcorn and tea. So all of our storytelling is is, is under the popcorn and tea the popcorn. Um, umbrella. That's mm -hmm. really cool. That's really yeah. cool. And earlier we showed you've got a great blog connected to yeah. the site. I love the topics Thank that um, I, I encourage anyone you know watching this to go check it out because some of the topics that you cover. Yeah. I know you do podcasting too. Yeah. Really, really interesting stuff. Um, you sort of like position yourself as this uh, sort of community caregiving, like that yeah. is one of your tenets and one of your. Explain a bit more about sure. how that sort of plays a role in your, in your life. Yes. So community caregiving. So this is, this has always been part of the MVP of Corridor House and it's probably the toughest not to crack. Mm -hmm. I'll be very honest with you. So community caregiving means that we put together caregivers to support a community. And so think of it like shared services. What I found in my marriage and mm -hmm. my role as parenting is that the part of the burnout is because we don't have extra hands. Mm. Part of the burnout is because we're doing it alone. And so 
community caregiving is our next phase, right? So we got the house, mm -hmm. we're building our events, and now our next phase is really actually putting together communities of eight to 10 families mm -hmm. and then placing caregivers with them, like mm -hmm. shared services. And that looks like somebody that can come in and run your errands. Mm -hmm return stuff for you to the mall, cut up your fruits and vegetables. Wow. I, I can say, hey, I want four hours a week or I need 10 hours a week. And now how that's different from what everybody, because you can hire, everybody can outsource something. Yeah. How that's different is that we do it within the context of community. Mm -hmm. And so our children get to know each other. Mm -hmm. We get to know each mm -hmm. other. We can have dates mm. outside, <laughs> right? You can drop off the kids at kids club or, and then you have a little bit of, um, um, what is it? A benefit of having somebody, let's say Monday is, um, Monday is grocery day. Yeah. The same person who is a caregiver yeah. for this community can run six groceries yeah. because they're already in the store. Yeah. And then what I find is that instead of me attacking my spouse or my spouse attacking me, it's just best if yeah. we don't attack each other yeah. and then we can reclaim our time. Yeah. And so that is the concept of community caregiving. And I really think that the more you actually pair communities together, um, you may not actually need as much caregiving, yeah. right? Yeah. And so I think we're going to have communities that exist with caregivers and communities that exist without ca caregivers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> I mean, I'm like, and take away the show. I mean, there's so much I could talk about with yeah. you because that you've alluded to. I just, you know, I, we, we have to wrap up on yes. time, but I, I genuinely- This has first, been like a short- I know, for the short- <laughs> I, I want to say first, thank you, because time has yes. been a key component of what I, we've been discussing, yes. a theme that we've been discussing. So thank you for your time yes. in coming here. And just thank you for this concept and putting yeah. it into St. Louis, because I think there's so many mothers, so yeah. many parents out there who really are going to benefit from this mm. and also the ability to put forth these discussions of us being yeah. just honest about what it is that we go through, yeah, you know, as absolutely. mothers, as parents. And so I think this yeah. is great. And congratulations. Thank you. And thank you for the opportunity. I yeah. do think that we can make the world a little better if we start to support mothers better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. And uh, yes, thank you for being here. And thank yeah. you too for your family too, for your time I being know. here. <laughs> We've got more information there for you on the screen before we wrap things um, up. Go ahead and learn more about Corday House. You can head to their website, cordayhouse.com. Uh, just a really fascinating concept. I have not seen this either in I other know, cities. So you might, be, I, yeah. you might be onto something. And they're then the, there's- We're the first. The first, <laughs> the first right here in, yeah. uh, in St. Louis. And then there's the social handles. But I, again, I encourage you just to learn more, explore, learn about the memberships. And again, Ronke, Falati. That's it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank oh you. My gosh, it really thank was you. a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much. Oh, you're so love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And thank you at home for watching and keep it right here on STL TV Experience St. Louis.